Hi guys, welcome to Wicked Movie Channel. This time we prepared the top of the best crime thrillers, not only less known films gathered in this selection, so that everyone could find something new to watch. We hope that this collection will be useful. So let's not waste any time and begin. Age of Darkness Thomas Craven is a lone detective in Boston, Homicide Division. After a long absence, his daughter, which he missed so much, comes to him. On the same evening, they become victims of an attack, as a result of which the detective's daughter dies. Craven's colleagues reasonably believe that they attempt to kill him, but Thomas quickly realized that his little Emma got into trouble. Security agents of private research corporation begins to spy on the unfortunate father and he decides himself to figure out what happened and take a revenge on the murder's all costs. This is a great detective thriller, dark, tough and addictive. Tenth place, Age of Darkness. Imperium. As a result of major operation, the FBI learns that a dangerous radioactive substance has been imported into United States and a bomb can be made of that. Informants say local Nazi and racist activist Dallas Wolf may be interested in obtaining cesium. To get closer, the Bureau sends their uncovered agent to a group of neo-Nazis, a young analyst named Nate Forrest, a man who takes his duty to his homeland too close to his heart. Once he got into an aggressive environment, Nate has to become a much tough man. He is under pressure and in constant fear of being exposed, but he continues to do his job. Intense movie and great acting by Daniel Radcliffe. In that kind of movies, Radcliffe proves that he is not a hostage of one role. Ninth place, Imperium. The Drop. Simple Brooklyn hard worker, Bob works day and night in his uncle Marv's bar. Long time ago, the bar belonged to Marv himself, but 10 years ago it was taken over by Chechen bandits, and now they constantly visit in it to keep the business under control. Sometimes the common fund flows into the bar, I mean all the dirty money of the city, and it's Bob's responsibility to take care of it. Problems begin when two masked men visit the establishment and take all the money, and Bob finds a puppy in a trash can and meets a well-worn waitress Nadia. The Chechens demand that the debt be repaired, the police chases Bob and Mary's and Nadia's boyfriend tries to return the dog, comes home without asking and make it clear with all his might that Bob appeared in Nadia's life for nothing. This is a leisurely but strong and brutal thriller, in which, by the way, the great actor James Gandolfini played his last role. Eighth place, The Drop. Trash. Rafael, a teenager from a poor area in Brazil, finds a lost wallet in a garbage dump during another raid, triggering a dangerous series of unexplained deaths and police harassment. Relying to a rescue and loyalty of his friend Gardo, he decides on his own to find out the reason why he was almost shot by the cops and why now he is being pursued by a dangerous police detective. This is a captivating crime thriller that is really exciting to watch. The disadvantages include a slight protraction, but the movie makes up for this with tense and dynamic chase scenes that will make the viewer worry about the characters, because anything can happen with them due to the coincidence of circumstances. 7th place, Trash Harry Brown Harry Brown is a single retired citizen with a military background. His wife and daughter have died, and only friend with whom he used to play chess was brutally murdered by teenagers from a local gang. These teenage thugs are keeping the whole street in fear. The police were investigating that case, but no one was arrested. And now, realizing that he has nothing more to lose, Harry Brown decides to administer justice himself. This is a movie on a rather hot topic of teenage cruelty. There is a simple, straightforward plot, but overall, the film turns out to be strong, cruel, and at the same time catchy. Sixth place, Harry Brown. London Boulevard Crime boss Mitchell, a well-known and respected man in a gang community. He just got out of prison and doesn't intend to return to his past life. 
While trying to find a normal job, he accidentally meets the movie star Charlotte. Charlotte hides in her house from the crowd of reporters and photographers and is looking for someone who could both do housework and be her bodyguard. The beauty and vulnerability of the actress conquer Mitch and he accepts the job offer, further protecting Charlotte from aggressive paparazzi, pursuers and other villains. However, his past will not let him go so easily and Mitch has to solve more and more problems. This is a captivating British crime thriller with colorful characters and great soundtracks. Fifth place, London Boulevard. Alpha Dog. By the age of 19, Johnny Through Love has organized a huge drug business, bought a mansion in Los Angeles, and amazed a group of friends around him, who were always ready to share with him his joys and routine life. Once, his friend Jake Mazursky offered Johnny to do a profitable business, but the deal fell through and Jake owned Thrulov $1,200. To get Mazursky to return the money, a drug dealer steals his 15-year-old stepbrother. This film is based on real events that took place in 2000. In fact, the whole movie is the chronology of that crime. The movie was shot entirely as a fiction, but with some small inserts with a clarification, with people who was witness in that case and who were the accused. That constantly reminds this movie events actually happened, which makes some moments of the thriller even more eerie. Fourth place, Alpha Dog. Snitch. John Matthews is an exemplary American. He runs his own construction company, raises a daughter and helps his son from his first marriage. When his son is set up by a friend, John wants to help, but not so simply. The son was taken by drug dealer, and although the courage was far-fetched, anyway he is given 10 years in jail. The only way to get the terms off is to hand over another drug dealer. But John's son doesn't know any dealers, except that he was set up, and he doesn't want to hang over anymore. Then John makes a deal with the federal attorney. He helps her shut down a major drug dealer, intense thriller with elements of an action movie, in which Dwayne Johnson decides to move away from the usual image of, of an invulnerable big guy who hits in the face, and he played a man who is not a superhero but tries to do his best. Third place, Snitch. Collateral. Max is calm, shrewd, but at the same time grasping Los Angeles taxi driver, knows the city very well. Vincent is a contract killer, brutal, cold-blooded and calculating. Vincent receives a difficult order to remove five prosecution witnesses in a high-profile case in one night. Witnesses live in different parts of Los Angeles. He just flew into the city and to get to each of them, he takes a taxi, the driver of which turns out to be Max. The film begins slowly, but then gradually gains momentum and doesn't slow them down until the very end. This is enough action and tense moments, but the main thing is smart and interesting thriller. Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise played great. Cruise, by the way, did portray of one of the best killers in the cinema. Second place, Collateral. Training Day A young Los Angeles police officer named Jake is transferred to the anti-drug department, which commanded by seasoned officer Alonzo Harris. He undertakes to personally introduce him to the specifics of work in one of the most dangerous areas of the city. Jake is shocked by the cruel methods and almost undisguised cynicism of his new mentor, but the truth turns out to be even worse. This is one of the brightest and already become a cool crime thrillers, which at one time amazed everyone with a fascinating scenario, with unexpected turns, tough showdowns and powerful moments. Among them, Denzel Washington's character shown the most. For this role, the actor was even awarded an Oscar. Great thriller, powerful, overwhelming and assertive, just like the character of Washington. First place, Training Day. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Share your movie impressions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up. See you. Bye.